Namapi na chalati. Without his consent or order, even a blade of grass would not move. In Christianity they have, Thy will be done on the earth as in heaven. Whether it is heaven or on the earth, ultimately God's will alone prevails. That spirit is expressed here, Kartuhu Ajnaya, by God's will. And specifically the context is, rather than any phenomenon, such as, you know, you may say, the sun rises by God's will, the moon sets by God's will, it rains by God's will, it gets dark by God's will, and all millions and millions of phenomena uh, happen by God's will. But here specific context is because, remember the story, the Karmakandis, ritualists, who are great experts. I would once more compare them with Nobel Prize winning scientists and other Oscar winning actors and Grammy winning singers and Olympic gold winning athletes and so on. Like that those ritualists were no ordinary people. But they had, they had this ego and they had the arrogance to think that by simply doing more and more karma and acquiring special powers we will forever be happy. The truth is, you will be happy for a while, but all those powers go. The universe is marked by impermanence. That is what Prince Siddhartha, who became the Buddha, saw very clearly. Many of us who are above sixty, at least I make my confession. I thought I would not become sixty somehow. I thought everybody, you know, as I was growing up, I saw many people getting old. Aha, Mama ji, Chacha ji. I would not. Then slowly I saw a little bit turning grey here, over there and so on. So that is the illusion, delusion, moha that everybody has. But Prince Siddhartha saw. So in Buddhism they have what is called, you see in Buddhism and Jainism there is no God concept. So coming to Buddhism they have a meditation on the impermanence of everything. Everything is impermanent. A tourist in Washington DC saw the White House and he didn't know what it was. He asked, whose is this house? He asked a local person, who lives here? Who stays here? That was the word, words. And the tourist had attended some spiritual classes like this, it seemed. Not tourist, the local person. The local person answered very wittily. Remember, the question was, who stays here? The local person said, nobody stays, everyone comes and goes. <laughs> Some go after four years, some go after eight years, and if some impeachment takes place, it's another story. <laughs> Nobody stays, all come and go, was his answer. Impermanence. Our own body is not permanent. So, the ritualists had that problem. They thought that if we do more and more of these rituals, nobody would ever question, that ever has to be removed. Nobody would question you for some length of time. Then just watch out. Therefore, the special, special context is of karma. And the first line means, it is ultimately by the will of God, that supreme intelligent principle. The universe is not a mechanical phenomenon. With due respect to Newton's laws and then Einsteinian laws and anybody else's laws, with due respect to them, the text is giving us the message that ultimately there is a lawgiver, there is a lawmaker. Interestingly, and whether you like it or not, in Buddhism, Jainism, they don't accept God. But Sanatana Dharma, and Christianity, Islam, Sikhism and numerous other religions, 
Judaism, which is also a prominent religion in this part of the world, believe in God. Those religions that believe in God are in majority. Buddhism is spreading quite a lot, even in North America. They do not believe in God. When they say it is all an illusion, it's an illusion and even they don't have theories of creation. Someone created, they don't have. In fact, they think that it is not necessary to propose certain intelligent being who creates this universe. Whereas in Shankara's commentaries, the point brought out is, if you find something orderly, there has to be an intelligence behind that orderly structure coming into existence. You go and go to some distant forest area and there if you see something which is very orderly, symmetrical, then you say somebody must have made it. To believe that this universe which has tremendous order, we may sometimes get disturbed by disorder, but otherwise the universe has lots of laws. L-A-W. Laws as they call at the macrocosmic level and at the microcosmic level. Even an atom has so many laws. Galaxies, etc. have their laws. Therefore, Einstein had made a statement. What is incomprehensible to me about this universe is how everything is comprehensible. He was amazed at there being a law about everything. So the Hindu position is, if there are laws about this universe, there has to be a lawmaker. You don't have to personify him or her. That is a, on a different level. That is for Upasana. The basic idea of God, Ishwara, is that is certain supreme intelligence. And by the order of that intelligence, prapyate phalam, results of what you and I do come to us. And if that intelligence for some reason decides otherwise, no matter what you do, you will not get results. If that intelligence decides for some sweet reason of his own or her own, from a mango tree you may get oranges, you may. Cows will give birth to monkeys. They will. But generally God doesn't disturb. He has set things in motion. God, the supreme software programmer, can change some codes here, change some lines here. He just, you know, he can introduce bugs, he can remove bugs from the software. He is the master programmer. On a keyboard, ASDF, you have, if some IT person is told do something and he changes the software inside, you press the button A, it may give Z. You press the button S, it may give P. You press the number 5, it may give, you know, X. Anything they can do, software professionals, because they know it is all programmed. If somebody imagines, nobody can change it. This is A means A only will come. Likewise, Kartuhu, Karta is the Supreme Creator. By His will, results come about. Please, for heaven's sake, don't make the mistake of imagining that action by itself is the ultimate. There is no literal insult to action. Action is to be respected. Compared with lazy people, a man who acts is to be respected. Gita says, right, Siddhi Bhavati Karmaja. In this world, success comes thanks to work. Karmaja Yohi Akarmana, another punch line Sri Krishna gives in Gita. Compared with inaction, at any rate, action is better. Arjuna, go for action. Even some of us philosophers like me, myself, realize 
that all high philosophy is fine but if we are not active in whatever work we take up so i was telling subhashini this morning that now though i am a swami ji i don't begin my day with my meditation or yoga i do it later because i have a weakness for lagging behind in work so last few days is working out very well for me if i get up 5 o'clock if i today i was slightly late first one and half two hours i work you all have promised somebody i'll send an article somebody else has sent an article to me i have promised him i'll edit your check and to somebody else i have promised that i will compose something for you in sanskrit so when you have promised you have to keep your promise so i do that action and that gives me really you know in fact my meditation runs better later on because my heart is clear i kept my word you know i sent then you meditate or you want to do some yoga asana you do very peace you know peacefully otherwise carrying a sense of guilt today also i didn't reply that email which takes only 5 minutes but i could not sit at all anyway i should not confess more because <laughs> now you are laughing if i go on confessing you will start crying oh so how we just have so many problems what about us then so i stop short you know i stop right after making one or two selected confessions then i hold back so no insult to action please karma is great siddhir bhavati karma ja iit madras as that as the slogan in their emblem kshipram hi manushe loke siddhir bhavati karma ja karma se hi siddhi hoti hai not by philosophizing that is truth but the higher truth is or the highest truth is about karma a karma is very bad karma is far better human excellence to a great extent is through karma let us respect karma but to think that karma action working hard and then that is not enough work harder to think that that is the ultimate there is nothing beyond it is a colossal error karma kim param you think karma is the supreme truth with high respect to glorious action hats off to action but it is not the ultimate god is the ultimate for karma all said and done has its own serious limitations and it is jadam karma tad jadam the shloka says karma is basically inert it has no intelligence we have intelligence then we decide to do some action the action is an expression of that intelligence the action even in physics work equals force into distance if there is a rock and you and i apply some force in physics the definition of work is if the rock doesn't move even 1 inch <coughs> work done is zero we might be having pain in our hands but force multiplied by distance there is some you know, i don't ask more i have forgotten <laughs> i make selected submissions of physics because i stopped physics 30 years ago you know whatever little i remember so it is jada it's a mechanical affair you press this button and some letters come on the screen in it in a computer that that phenomenon is jada intelligence is not even in thought in spirituality we say thought also is not the factor or the component that hosts intelligence intelligence is about thought just as in a electric lamp the lamp doesn't have light it is electricity that flows through the lamp and whatever uh, is the phenomenon over there light comes out if there were to be no electricity you have the best electric lamp 
एल ई डी लैम्प और सी एफ एल लैम्प और गुड ओल्ड एज विच इज वेरी मच बैंड नाउ इन कैंड रिसेंट लैम्प आर सो मेनी टेक्नोलॉजीज राइट वॉट एवर इट इज बट इफ एलेक्ट्रिसिटी इज नॉट अवेलेबल दैट एक्सपेंसिव लैम्प यू जस्ट नाउ वेंट एंड बॉट फ्रॉम द बाजार यू वोट वर्क दैट वे माइंड विच इज मेड ऑफ थाट्स इज इनर्ट बाई इट सेल्फ there is some intelligent principle which is to be respected karma by itself is therefore jada and when you and i get attached to the lower levels where we do achieve things when we work we get some results it goes into our head you know i did that and everybody praised me so we associate our self worth with doing something getting some recognition earning some money and so on we imagine just like those ritualists we imagine that our life would be wonderful by action being on our toes period we think that is all about it once more with due respect to hard working life disciplined life the truth